Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about Joe Hayden. Uh, this was a question uh, submitted by Cullen Klein. Joe Hayden breakdown. I hope Miami snags him. Uh, and yeah, I figure, you know what, I'll do a Joe Hayden video. Of course, he was just released by the Cleveland Browns. And he was a guy that, you know, in the beginning of his career had a ton of excitement a ton of I mean he was a he was a playmaker he's a playmaker in college he was a playmaker in the NFL um, he didn't quite have all the uh, sort of athleticism traits uh, to be an elite elite cornerback and we'll get into some of that stuff uh, but I do think that he has a good overall profile and really at this point it's about age and longevity and you know what what he's in right now like what shape he's in right now when it comes to his overall uh, uh, makeup which is questions that I can't really answer all I can really look at is what the age data looks like and then of course what the other sort of stuff looks like um, so again for people that aren't familiar with any of the terms I'm going to be talking about today I'm going to leave the terms in the description so anything I talk about today that you're like I don't know what that is if you're new to the channel just go to the description and all the terms are going to be there at least that if you still have questions leave, you know leave a comment but let's get into Joe Hayden so starting with his production out of Florida uh, he was really productive um, he had a 99.25 solo tackle market share production score and a 74.25 pass deflection market share production score um, as you can see when it comes to bottom end threshold for multiple all pro types you pretty much is above the bottom uh, in threshold for those types of players and in terms of the averages at the position you know average solo tackle average pass deflection although he doesn't quite hit the average for all pro types when it comes to pass deflection but he's you know close he's more in the pro bowl range when it comes to his pass deflection data um, so this is kind of where he's at he looks a little bit more like a pro bowl cornerback than an all pro cornerback uh, based on data but he does have a great all-around data profile to say the least coming out of Florida I mean 99 plus is really good for solo tackle and then of course we get into his athleticism data now this is where there is some controversy uh, you know he went to the combine and did not run very fast I used what his pro day 40 was uh, and uh, you know if you know if you disagree with that if you think you just use the combine I just figured to put him in the best possible light just go with the pro day 40 and even if you go with the pro day 40 he still doesn't come out as well as he needs to come out at least for high quality outcomes uh, but when you look at Joe Hayden's athleticism data he had a 64.83 explosive or body strength score 80.32 speed score and 79.59 flexibility score and again this is with taking into account his uh, pro day you know pro day numbers uh, and based on this data he does not hit the all pro uh, explosive lower body strength score he does not hit the speed score for all pro player he does hit the flexibility score for all pro player but again the explosion the explosiveness and speed of Joe Hayden is not indicative of a multiple all pro type of player uh, he's more so like a multiple Pro Bowl type of player because when you look at the Pro Bowl thresholds 38.5 hits that mark pretty easily speed score 60 uh, 61.99 Beats that score pretty easily and of course 61.19 is a flexibility score and beats that pretty easily as well uh, So Joe Hayden based on his athleticism looked more like a Pro Bowl cornerback than a all-pro cornerback when you look at his overall package and you also look at his uh, production great solo tackle data pass flexion data is good not as great as it possibly could be but definitely decent and uh, I think when you look at him in terms of the total package you're looking at a guy who has potential to be a multiple Pro Bowl type versus a multiple all pro type based on his athleticism based on his production coming out of college then we get to his actual NFL production uh, now again I do not have a large enough collection of target data for cornerbacks uh, so you know if you can go to somebody else for that information I'm purely looking at macro 
uh, information about production uh, because again it tells you what their overall impact in terms of impact that can actually be measured you know on on uh, on on paper this is basically what this is because you know, a lot of people go why do you look at macros up because you can actually like a solo tackle is a solo tackle if you tackle someone it ends the play if you get an interception it ends the play and possibly creates a touchdown uh, if you have a pass deflection that ends the play so these this is what the total impact is for a guy on a team based on the same methodology of market share but at the NFL level when you look at Joe Hayden pretty decent career up until about age 26 I think that year in particular I think he had an injury or, or something like that that kind of you know uh, stifled that year came back at age 27 and did not quite hit the same level of play uh, except for when he was 22 to 23 but this was a guy at cornerback who had 90 plus percent all overall impact scores uh, you know for the majority uh, a good chunk of his career so uh, you know he, he's been very impactful when it comes to solo tackles he's been very impactful when it comes to interceptions throughout his career and he's also been very impactful when it comes to pass deflection uh, data as well with the exceptions of uh, 2012 2015 and 2016 uh, and again if you want to look at target data go somewhere else you know but uh, this is just what he looks like from a macro uh, standpoint. Uh, and then we get to the ultimate question of, okay, what do you do with this guy? So now we're going to get into age data. Um, this is the average impact of a, of a cornerback starter for their age from 2005 to 2016. Um, as you can clearly see, Joe Hayden is at a point of diminishing returns in terms of his overall data. He hit age 27. Uh, for the most part, production, the average production of a starting cornerback at age 21 to age, uh, you know, basically to age 22 is pretty high. 23 to 25 is about the same with kind of a dip. Then you have, uh, you know, kind of a good year in, 20, in terms of age 26, 27, and then you just have a gradual decline from age 27 uh, to age uh, 32 and then you have another decline and then uh, after that point I mean 34 years old is pretty much the end of the road for mo for most cornerbacks in terms of data as you can clearly see so that's pretty much when cornerbacks are pretty much dead uh, in terms of impact uh, but when you actually look at the total number so this is the number of above average cornerback starters uh, like the actual number of starters that are at that age that are above average and you can clearly see that age 27 um, is is basically where the decline starts where you get fewer and fewer starters that are at age uh, you know basically 27 you know you have not about 94 starters that are above average starters uh, at age uh, 27 and then you get to 84 and 28 and then age 29 more people drop off 54 more drop off uh, and then of course 39, 20, 19, 5, 3, 1, 3, all the way to the point again when you get into that 34 to 37 age, that's when everybody they just start dropping like flies. So I'm not sure if this is why the Cleveland Browns dumped them um, because you're gonna have diminishing returns because you just are. I mean, uh, cornerbacks when they get that age, it, it becomes a question of not only impact because i already showed you before this is what their overall impact is for the starters that are able to actually get on the field but you also have to consider um you know what's going to happen you know, like when is their body going to start to break down and again the body for most cornerbacks typically starts to break down a bit once you hit age 27 and then after that point it's just kind of downhill from there so that's the only thing you really have to consider with joe hayden uh, which is something that I can't really answer is what's the status of his health is he in shape uh, is there any you know is there any sort of things to worry about from a medical standpoint does he still have uh, the athleticism you know what is his athleticism you have to get a baseline on that on, in terms of what what his age is right now so these would be all the sort of questions and things I would be considering if I was a GM or uh, a talent acquisition guy 
is you know these would be the questions in my mind is that you know he's at an age where you start to get diminishing returns he definitely is a high impact guy i mean that's the the one thing going for joe hayden um is despite all the naysayers about him and everything else like that he's been a very productive cornerback throughout his entire career uh with the exception of 2013 which again was mostly due to injury even years where people have said his impact is kind of eh he still had a great impact when it came to turning the football over, creating turnovers, and uh, you know, and everything else. So um, I don't think he's going to continue to have 90 plus percentile impact years. I think realistically, you should expect 80 percentile years, which is basically like top 30, uh, top 60-ish impact. So you shouldn't pay him like a top five cornerback, like a top 10 cornerback, like that's that's not what you should pay him because he's just not that type of guy anymore. And this is not a uh, Darrell Rivas situation or uh, any other sort of situation where you have a cornerback who just is was just a ridiculous athlete. You know, Joe Hayden was a good athlete, but he wasn't. Again, he wasn't a All Pro athlete. He was more of a Pro Bowl athlete. Um, so, so that's basically the thing. I think again, when it comes to Joe Hayden, um, the biggest thing that I would be thinking about as a GM is you know age his health status and all these other sort of things I think if you end up getting him for you know average starting cornerback money I think that's fine um, you know give him uh, say uh, you know a three-year contract and uh, and go from there and I think you'll be fine with with regards to Joe Hayden and that kind of perspective and I just added the uh, this is the free agency salary uh, breakdown. I haven't updated this 100% uh, in terms of any big changes. Um, I did fix the um, uh, the quarterback should be like $25 million a year because of Derek Carr. Actually, more than that because of Matthew Stafford. Um, but for the most part, you know, this is what you're looking at in terms of top 32 salaries for cornerbacks. Uh, you know, $9 million a year is average for a top six for a top 16 cornerback which i don't think joe hayden is anymore um that's about nine million dollars a year but i do think if he gets 5.5 million um to 7 million i think that that's sort of the the money ballpark uh that you should be looking for so if he does get signed um those would be the money that that would be the money that you would want to consider uh, for him because otherwise you're going to lose money um, so uh, in terms of impact because you know he's at that age where you're just going to have diminishing returns it, it just, it's just going to happen um, in terms of impact uh, so uh, you know let me know um, what are your guys thoughts on Joe Hayden you know do you want do you, does your team want to sign him um, what would be some of the concerns you might have about him uh, you know other than this um, and, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Of course, uh, my, uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.